Today's video is all about groove, how to make your drone feel more alive and give it a little bit of swing. What's up guys, my name's Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. So I've got a drum loop here that I have drawn in, I've penciled it in, it sounds like this. Okay, really simple, right? Everything is perfectly on beat, I've penciled it in using the grid, and that's, uh, that's usually generally how most people will put in their drums, unless you're playing them if you're like a finger drummer or something like that. The question is, how do we get the drums to feel a little bit more alive while we're using MIDI? Or maybe if we're using audio too, this is this also applies to audio, it's just a lot easier to do in MIDI. What we can do is a couple of things. We can pencil it in just like we did with the, the initial drum loop. We could play it in just like we do with our drum pads or finger drumming, right? On the keyboard even if, you, if that's all you have could do that or you could apply a uh, a robotic really rigid drum loop and then apply a groove to it so we're gonna go through all of those methods right now so I'm gonna drop just draw in a hi-hat loop here by the way shout out to decap and Ricky remedy for the samples and e Cali for the kick all great samples if you guys haven't checked out the Ricky remedy pack I would highly recommend getting all three of his packs. I've purchased all three of them. They are awesome. Okay, so now we add in the hi-hat, and now it sounds like this. Okay. Hi-hat's a little bit loud, so we can turn that down. Uh, by the way, we could select all the notes in a loop just by clicking the note that is assigned to them. And then if we wanted to adjust the velocity, Roll our mouse over there, hold command if you're on a Mac, and just roll it down just like that. It'll be control if you're on a PC. Okay, so it doesn't sound bad, right? But it could sound better. And we could, uh, we could just shift these guys off to the side a little bit to really create a groove and more of a... Uh, you know, just a little bit off time, so it feels like they're constantly catching up. But the important thing to remember is that we are basing this on a source that is already on beat, right? Or or at least close, right? Because if we don't have if we don't have those anchors to pull pull the beat back, then anytime there's stuff that starts to feel off beat, then it starts to get disjointed and it doesn't feel right. So we want to make sure to maintain those snares on beat while the rest of our track can maybe swing and have a little bit of give to it. So let's try shifting these hi-hats over a little bit. Just shift them over. By the way, I'm, using, I'm holding command and using the arrow keys to shift these over. So we've moved them off. You can see we've moved them off beat a little bit here. Now let's hear how it sounds. Sounds pretty good, right? I mean, we we're, we didn't really do very much. We just shifted everything over a little bit, and it feels it feels like a a human being is playing it in just a little bit more, right? Not not totally, but just a little bit. So that is one way to do it, right? And we can also let's actually try messing around with the velocity a little bit. So we'll start out with this first one hitting a little bit harder than the other ones, and we'll uh, we'll bring these two down a little more. Remember, hold command when, while uh, holding or dragging your mouse over the top and then clicking, dragging down. We'll bump this one up a little bit. Matter of fact, we'll just do that. We'll just copy this all the way across, just like that. Now, it, it's going to give it a little bounce. And let's actually, yeah, let's, let's bring these kicks down a little bit too. Then the next thing we could do is play it in. We could play in the uh, some some stuff off the grid because, I mean, we're human, human beings and we will likely play stuff imperfectly, right? And that's what that's where the groove and humanization comes in. Um, now I loaded in a couple of samples up here. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll try that one. So here's an important thing to remember too. Right up here, this is the MIDI arrangement overdub. And if we click that, we will it will allow us to play over the MIDI clip that we've just recorded without erasing anything. That's important for adding individual elements in a loop. So let's try that. Let's, let's clock it in here. All right, so I definitely made a couple of mistakes in there, so we might have to we might have to adjust those. Yeah, see, yeah. See, I told you I could I I definitely play it imperfectly for sure. So we can adjust that one, just move it over a little bit. Move that there. So if you ever want to uh, quantize what you've done too, you could come over here, highlight the notes that you want quantized, press Command U, and it will snap them back to the grid. Um, you can also set up quantize settings by holding Shift Command U, just like that. And we can decide, oh, we want it 16th, and we want the amount to be 60, and it'll adjust it a little bit. You can see it didn't put it completely on beat, but it gets it closer. So you can mess around with those settings and see which one works best for you. Now, the last way we can ap apply Groove is utilizing the Groove library. So you could find the Groove library over here in Packs, Chop, and or excuse me, uh, Core Library, Swing and Groove, right down here. And you could find that like, you'll find these like really weird clicking noises. And there's a bunch of different folders of them. So that represents note placement and velocity. So you can kind of hear how it's like sort of like going. T -t -t -t. That's giving it a little bit more of a lively feel. So what? Let's. Why don't we? We will set these guys back to the original tempo here and get these guys. Get these guys here. Snap to the grid so they are perfectly quantized. And we'll change the velocity on these guys, bring it all up, and then bring them down a little bit. We'll bring these guys down too, they're a little bit loud. And so we can drop we could drop these different grooves in our groove library down in here into our groove pool. You can find the groove pool. If you don't see it, it's right here. You can just click this and this is your groove pool right here. So let's drag it. We'll just grab a couple of random ones. I like that one. We'll use that one. Use that one too. Okay, cool. So you can see there are a couple of different settings here. The quantize will determine how much your notes are snapped to the to the grid. Uh, this, if you want it to have a little bit more of a swingy motion, this is pro you probably want this to be a little less. The timing affects how much of the groove that you selected is applied. The random is how much note fl fluctuation or how much fluctuation is between the individual sounds maybe like they add in some like random late hits or random early hits and that that adds a little bit more complexity to the groove and the velocity determines how much of the velocity it, the velocity determines how much of the original groove's velocity you want to apply to your new drum groove okay so let's let's figure out how to use this thing so everything right now is pretty even, right? All there's no velocity difference between these these notes here. Everything is pr like every snare is hitting at the same, every kick's hitting the same, every hi hat's hitting the same, and every one of these uh, percussion samples is hitting the same. So we can come in here and go. Mm, let's say, uh, let's grab one the this one. We just selected this one. So let's hear how it sounds now in comparison.
So the velocity is really affecting this loop now. You can hear that it got really quiet except for a couple of samples. So we can reduce that here. Let's turn up the random here. So you can hear that now we're getting a little bit more of like a, oh, it's get kind of bouncing a little bit. So what, what we could do, you could see like, well, okay, what does this look like? We can hit commit and boom. Looks like oh, we're looking at here. looks like our, some of our hi-hats are hitting a little earlier. Uh, looks like, yeah, some of our snares here hitting a little later. Same with our kicks right here. You can see like, and, and it will uh, intentionally adjust the velocity across all these notes, shortening some, lengthening some, and uh, and we can apply it directly to our our loop and give it that groove. So now here's the last thing we're going to cover, which is probably the coolest thing I think when it comes to groove is we can take grooves from other sources as well. So you're wondering why I have this loop right here. Shout out Decap for this super dope loop. Um, you can check out all of his loops at uh, uh, on Splice. They're all on Splice. Um, yeah, they're called Decap Drums That Knock. So check this, this loop out here. Definitely has a lot of groove to it. So why don't we, tr let's go over here. We'll go extract groove. And then boom, it added, it's added right down in our, our groove pool right here. And we can adjust some of these things too. So let's, let's adjust some of the velocity here and maybe give it a little bit of random. We'll set it to 16th. Yeah, 16th is good. So we can apply this, that same drum groove, to our new drum loop. So, okay. Now you might be thinking, all right, yeah, that's a little bit too wonky. It just, like, it feels like there's something's not right about it. And that's because our bass layer, our kick and our snare, are not completely on the grid. So, uh... And now, it, and mind you, I'm not saying that you always have to do it this way. You can always find a way to make something work. But if you really want to get the most out of the that extra swing and groove, it helps to keep some sort of anchor in your drum loop. So we're going to hit commit and see what the issue is here. It looks like, yeah, it looks like this kick is not hitting. Or yeah, this, this snare right here. I'm just going to quantize all the kicks and snares. Just gonna press Command U, snap those all to the grid. Okay, now let's listen to our drum loop when it's just the hi hats and percussion that are given that swing and groove. I like that. I think that sounds better. And I think we're ready to move on to the next part of our song. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, remember to uh, like this video because it really helps you guys. Like really helps. We're just getting started here. Just st starting to build that audience. Um, two things. One, if you want my finishing music checklist, you'll find my best tips for finishing music in this checklist and it's absolutely free. So go down in the description and grab that. Also, we just started the Facebook group. Facebook group is where you can come in and ask a bunch of questions to me and other members of the group. We just started up, so we're trying to get new members and if you want your questions answered, I'm there, I'm there every day. So go join the Facebook group, grab that checklist and I'll see you guys next Friday.